Hey guys, how's it going? Evan here. Uh, as promised in my last video, I'm showing off Teleport Tower, which you may already know was my submission to the Ludwig Game Jam, along with my teammates, Bampiku, Flurp, and Ragchomp. Uh, we did not place in the jam, we didn't get top 5 or top 10, but we did get a nice honorable mention on stream. I'll go ahead and show that off now. I love how this looks. It's Teleport Girl, I guess. So it's basically the mechanics of a Jump King, but with teleportation. Also, angular teleportation. I think I only like it because it reminds me of a um, Japanese thing. Because I'm a simple human. Thing Japan is PogChamp to me. Hi, chat. Hi, chat. Yeah, this is a, this is a very cute game. I'm not a weeb. I'm just interested in Japan. So, if you could not already tell from the uh, from the clip there, this game, yes, it is essentially just Jump King with a teleport gun. But uh, I think the teleport gun is a quite fun mechanic, and I do think that a lot of the a lot of the jam games that really were the best ones were the ones that just took the context of Jump King or took the context of getting over it and just applied their own sort of like unique simple mechanic to it. So, I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, we got like a strictly vertical platformer here. I mean, we had that little intro section at the beginning, but you can pretty much fall. You have a chance of either falling back to the bottom or not falling down that far based off of how you miss your shot at pretty much any stage. It's not really so much like Jump King where we have like slants or like scripted falls or not, not scripted falls, but sort of like pathed falls. We sort of just have like these little platforms all over the place, so it's, it almost feels a little bit random, like how far you're gonna, how far you're gonna fall, which I I, I think is cool. Uh, once we get up to the top of this indoor section, enter the clouds. We have a a, a new a new track for the cloud section, and um, it's a little tough to pick it out, but both the songs actually do progressively add more instruments the higher you get up, which is a nice little touch. And uh, in this cloud sections, we even, in the cloud section we even have um, like dynamic lighting. You might notice as I as I get a bit higher up, gets a bit darker, which is which is fun. Uh, yeah, these jumps get. All right, what I was uh, what I was gonna say there is that the the jumps do get the slightest bit teensy more difficult towards the end, but it's not so bad. I mean, you do essentially just click where you want to go. So it's like, how hard can it really be? Uh, you don't have control of your movement in midair. You do just sort of maintain the velocity of your uh, your teleport missile there, which uh, some people complain about. But honestly, they're probably just joking or like trolling because the game's really like the game's really not that hard. It's really not so tough at all. I think there's Uh, yeah, really, I think those, I think those Newgrounds users must just be yanking my chain or something when they leave reviews talking about, like, the game's hard and stuff, because... Uh, because I just don't really see that. Oh. Miss a jump here and there. Miss a jump here and there. You can just get right back up, you know? We had about, uh, ten days to make this game. Which uh, wasn't so bad, as this game is relatively simple. Uh, I, w I did use it. God fucking damn it, dude. Uh, yeah, I used a I used a custom engine for this one uh, from the ground up in TypeScript, so that did make things a little bit more difficult. But you know, that's what I do for my MMO game as well. I'm pretty used to working like that. I enjoy it, and uh, it's a pretty solid learning experience. But uh, I mean, yeah, the game's the game's really not that tough. I make it. This is honestly probably my worst run yet, but uh, let's go ahead and see, I guess. But yeah, we did get a lot of uh, like streamers and, and YouTubers playing the game, reviewing the game, streaming the game and stuff, which was wonderful. Um, 
and i don't know they all were like being weird too like like acting like the game i honestly i think what what people are doing is they're just like throwing for content so it's like you're a streamer you want to have like funny reactions you want to like fall really far and like rage and stuff so i think that's what was happening they probably knew it was an easy game they just wanted like you know just for the fans or whatever but uh, yeah i'll go ahead and show you guys some of those clips it's, it's cool stuff uh oh uh oh oh god no don't don't look now oh no oh no no <laughs> this one is like that much okay this one's a full no it's not no oh how did i do it last time right in the corner bada bing bada boom bam lineups right at the letter oh yeah lineups baby oh fuck no. Okay, this is fine. We. Was that close to the end there? Oh no. <laughs> this is brutal. This game is brutal. Like this, and maybe like Jump King. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh yeah, we can just go for this jump right here. Who recommended that we do that? Who recommended that? <sighs> no! No! Oh my god! Why does right click count as click? No! <laughs> Tell Retro he's got some bugs. Every jump I make is perfect and should not be treated otherwise. How come Retro doesn't program his game right? Jesus. You know what? It's probably because he's not using Godot. Like the only the only times I ever like fully rage at a game is when things happen that are just out of my control that are just like screwing me over. And the last game had that, and this game doesn't have that. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Ah, come on. Oh Jesus! Are you saying you wanted to go like pew and then like stop right there? It's probably like a. No. Here we go. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is the one. This is the fucking one. Let's go. Let's go. Oh no. No. Can I go on that thing? Indeed I can. Okay. Oh god. No, no, no. Jesus. I'm not going right side, right? Like no shot. Let's fucking go! Let's go! Oh my god, dude! Oh, let's fucking go, baby! Alright, I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you want to check out Teleport Tower for yourself, I'll, I'll put it in the description, top of the description. Uh, free game, of course. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, leave, leave a like if you liked the video, and... Um, yeah, be sure to keep up with my future dev stuff. I'll I'll be doing more game jams in the future. I'll be working on my MMO game a bunch, of course. And um, I actually streamed most of the development of this game on my Twitch page, like most of the programming and level design stuff. So that was a ton of fun. And uh, yeah, before I go, I'm going to give a, a quick special thank you to a lot of people that uh, helped a lot with this game. There's a pretty long list here. People... Um, streaming the game, play testing, all that, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of help. But uh, yeah, I wanted to give a thank you to a pink chair, baby funks, Sierra Norton, my wife, Dan Corona, Duck W, Frulu, Future Cop LGF, Grumpy Kitten, Jackie Codes, Jason Helms, Katem Leah, Hobie 2000, Ludwig, Michael Reeves, Automated, Rifi Games, Scorpio Wall, Savon Orr, Tom Fulp, Whitlock, Valmerix, and Yo Man 47. Thank you so much, guys. You you know you all know what you did to help me with this, with this project. And uh, yeah, thanks so much, everybody. Thanks for watching.
One more thing before I go, I gotta give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Covalence. Covalence is a full stack web development bootcamp and it is actually the school that I attended. Covalence's goal is to bring you from zero programming experience to a career ready software developer and that is exactly what they've done for me. If you're interested in learning web development, I highly recommend that you check them out. Links in the description. So once again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. So you want an honest review, I think the game is boring. <laughs> it's boring as fuck, but I don't think like any games made in 10 days are gonna be super interesting for me.